But I think it's worthwhile to step back and look at what's going on with law schools across the nation. There is a deficit of students going into those institutions. And so here it is, probably post-recession, and you know, who knows what other reasons are buried in there with a lot of students that are have gone into law school and all of a sudden you're seeing that their ability to get a job in profession, which is a metric for success of law school, because it is a professional school after all, that, that metric that a lot of institutions are are struggling and having a problem. And a lot of them are struggling also to fill the number of seats that allow them to, uh, to balance their budget. Okay, so you've got two choices. You can decrease your quality or you can make sure you're a very high quality program and perhaps tough it out a couple of years, okay? Because my bet is this will turn around as the economy turns around. Um, I argue for quality any time that I can. If one of the six things there that I, I talk about is excellence is your best offense when times are good because you can grow and excellence is your best, off, best defense when times are tough because who wants to cut something that is, is excellent? So I think that, the, and you know, if you go back to my last institution, the provost and I agreed that um, even though it, it, uh, it costs something, that we were going to protect the quality of, of the law school. Uh, you have fine faculty, great physical facilities in, in both locations. The, f the focus should be on the quality and then they will end up to be successful. The Florida State Law School just became the top law school in the state because we decided to take the path of quality over the path of accepting more students just to balance the budget because we, we believed it will turn around. Am I a perfect predictor? No, I'm, I'm quite human, but I, but I think it's worth the bet.